Good afternoon and welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. How you guys doing? All right. Um, really, really crappy weather um, in South London today. So uh, um, I'm at home with the boy, doing a bit of homeschooling and thought I would take this opportunity to make a quick video. Now, um, a couple of things about this video. It's, um, it's quite an interesting one. Um, one I don't have a full bottle of, uh, uh, apart from obviously having way too many bottles of perfume, I also have a rather healthy or unhealthy, depending on how you look at it, collection of decants. Now, I've always been a big fan of decants. I think if you can get a 10 mil decant or even a 5 mil decant, decant of a perfume that you're interested in, you'll get to know it so much better than you know, spraying it in store, which isn't a bad option. If you can spray some perfume on your skin, you will understand how it reacts to you. But I think the longer you can spend with a perfume, the more you'll know if it's going to be one that you're going to get on with or not. So, you know, a 10 mil decant is absolutely perfect. That gives you a lot of wearings, a lot of chance to sort of wear the perfume in different situations and find out how, you know, it works on your, on your skin, etc., etc. So today, we're going to talk about one that's really totally, certainly in a lot of the Facebook groups that I'm in, has been smashed into the hype train and it's called Red Ishk uh, and that's by a company called Anfas. Now I have not smelled anything from them before um, and I have heard so much about Red Ishk or Ishk, I'm not entirely sure which it's called, some places refer to it as Ishk which is uh, I-S-H-Q and some people refer to it as Red Ishk. Now the chap Ian who kindly sold me this decant has called it Red Ishk so I'm going to call it Red Ishk. Now it comes from Amfas, they're from the UAE, they're a relatively new company, they've been around since 2014, um, and they, are, they have two main noses, they have uh, Christian Carbono, who is a bit of a ledge, everyone knows him, he's been working with Fragrance de Bois, he's worked with Mars Milano, he was the nose behind Redolescence uh, collection of Navitas perfumes, so I think he was a main nose in all of those. He's worked with Azeroff. He's um, mainly known for Herba Pura from what used to be the Suspiro collection, one that I really, really like. He's also done Camel for zoologists. Now, Camel's one of, I think, you know, one of the zoologists that everybody seems to like because it's probably one of their easiest wares, but it's a very nice perfume. I really like Camel. Um, so really, really good pedigree. Um, Christian worked with a guy called Asim Al Qasim, who I don't know at all, and I think he's more to do with the brand. Now, as I say, it came out in 2014. There's about 16 perfumes that the brand has, and they have a couple of different collections. Reddish um, has really, really gained some momentum in the old hype train stakes, and a lot of people absolutely adore it. So I was really, really intrigued to try it. It arrived a little while ago. I've worn it to work once, and I've worn it around the house quite a few times. Um, and it is, really, I can really, really understand why people are liking it so much. I'm wearing it at the moment, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray a little bit more, not too much, um, obviously for the purposes of the review. So we'll give it a little spray, tiny bit, if this will work again. There we go. Actually, that's quite a lot. <laughs> um, and then what we'll do is have a quick chat about the notes, um, how it wears, what I think of it, how it performs, who can wear it, and whether I will be taking it any further or not. So first of all, if we look at the notes, there's gonna be a lot of notes that you're familiar with. We have jasmine, we have saffron, we have raspberry, we have amber, we have oak moss, we have talc and powder, or talc, and we have vanilla. Now, as soon as you smell it, you will notice this true juicy, ripe, raspberry note it really is the style of the show with this then you have the saffron and then you have the other um, notes and materials start to mingle together to give you actually what the perfume smells like as a whole but you will get the sharp very fruity raspberry note that leaps out at you and it's quite quite lovely the other thing that you'll notice straight away is that you will have smelt something like this before um Probably not without the raspberry and probably not as fruity and, and it's dialed right up as well. It's really, really nice. It's a beautiful fragrance. But we have to, before we go any further with the review, we have to acknowledge that this is yet another perfume out there that has certainly been inspired or has certainly looked at Maison Francis Coeur d'Ajan's Baccarat Rouge 540. I think we're now in a situation with BR 540 and the extract that there are so many um, 
perfumes that have borrowed from it. It's almost like Aventus now. It's kind of, I think it probably is. There's as many, you know, if you look at Aventus, not a perfume that I'm a massive fan of anymore, um, but there are literally thousands and thousands of um, interpretations of it or inspirations of Aventus. And that's fine. It's a very popular, um, you know, it's a very popular DNA and a lot of people like it. And the same with BR540. Um, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of different versions of it or inspirations of BR540. You know, they use that DNA to great effect. And a lot of these perfumes are really beautiful. And it's a, you know, it's a DNA that I really, really enjoy. But this is certainly in that camp. You have... And it's not, I'm not just saying that because it's got saffron in it. I'm not saying that at all. It certainly does give that, that, that imp impression of being in that camp. Although the raspberry makes it quite unique. It's a lot fruitier uh, and it's, it's a very, very pleasant wear. The other thing is most of the inspirations that I own of um, BR540 or, you know, perfumes in that world are massive. Now this, I can tell you now, is really, really, really long lasting. I wore it last night and I woke up this morning and it was, it was still all over me. So, you know, in terms of how long this perfume lasts, it really, really does last. The performance is excellent in terms of longevity. Now, when you spray it, it is quite loud and it has an, it's a perfume that has, an, it's another one of that ilk. It has excellent sillage and it projects quite well, but it's a lot softer in terms of projection and in terms of how much it kicks out it's nowhere near as loud as a lot of the others you know it's um it's a more intimate version or it's a more intimate usage of that dna it gives you the performance you want but it doesn't fog out rooms completely um like some of the others in that world do so this is it's very alluring. It's very sort of inviting. You know, a lot of these kind of perfumes push right out. This one doesn't. This brings people right in. So that's, a, you know, that's, that's a, a good um, facet to this perfume. It's not too much. It does, I think, it's totally unisex. Uh, uh, you know, I would wear, I have worn it and I could easily wear this. Um, I think it probably leans a little bit more feminine than some of the others in that world. Um, so it may be more appealing to a female fragrance enthusiast. It's certainly one that's ageless. Anyone can wear this. Maybe it's slightly suited more for the younger thruster, but someone like me, you know, um, I would happily wear this. I think it's a really nice fragrance. It just, it's, it's so nice. The, the, there is a slight powderiness that comes into it, which you would expect. But generally speaking, it's there's nothing in here that you wouldn't like. If you prefer, you know, if you like a sweet, fruity airy fragrance this would be a good fit for you it does kind of remind me of lots of other different perfumes so there's nothing too unique about it you know it's not the most original perfume out there but it's a very nice perfume and it's a very very good wear i enjoy it now i have this rather healthy decant which is all i will be taking forward i don't want it i don't need to buy it i like it it's expensive, it's 255 pounds for a 70 ml bottle, so it's a very expensive perfume. Um, but because it is, um, it's a nice one, but it's not overly unique. And you know, in this world of the BR540 impression or DNA, I'm pretty well covered. In fact, I have Mansara's Instant Crush, which is certainly in that world. I have Anna Abiyada Rouge from Latafa, which is certainly in that realm. I mean, that's a direct clone of um, BR540. My wife has, which I can use sometimes, Ariana Grande's Cloud, which again is in that world. And then we have my absolutely favorite of this ilk, which is Thomas Kosmala's Apri L'Amour number no. four. This is my go-to for this thing. If I want a BR540 hit, I will always go for this. I love this stuff. It's an absolute beast on me. Um, and it just, it's, it's huge. It's beautiful. But Red Ishk is worth exploring, certainly. The fruity raspberry note does give it something else that these don't have. Although BR5, um, although Aprila Moore does have a citrusy opening, it's nowhere near as sort of uh, noticeable as the raspberry in this. So if you're looking for a fruitier version of, um, that DNA. This would be well worth you having a look at because it is a very, very good perfume. It's not as big as I would like. It's not as loud um, as I would like. If I'm going to wear this DNA, I want it big. 
Um, and that's not for everybody, and uh, uh, you know, I, I get that. I don't wear this this particular, you know, these particular DNA that often, but when I do, I want it to punch out, and that's why I really, really like these two because these are huge. Um, the other one, the reddish isn't as as massive as the other two but it's still a very very good perfume i think they've made a wonderful perfume it's uh, it's it's very very good and it does have a place within this very packed marketplace so it may well be worth one one you you know you want to have a look at i am impressed with it i'm impressed with the quality of the perfume and i'm impressed with the blending um, the performance is excellent um, there's nothing wrong with it i just don't want it because i've got lots there there's a lot more out there for me to explore rather than putting quite a lot of money into one perfume um, when I've already got things that are so, so similar. I mean, I've got, if we look at the green world, I've got quite a lot of green perfumes and I understand that, you know, I'm a bit, a bit of a hypocrite there. But I've got one, two, three, four different versions of the same kind of DNA, so I don't need any more. Um, but you might really like this one. So I do recommend Jovoy in London stock it, so therefore Jovoy in Paris will have it. So you will be able to get samples of them and hopefully when the stores open, you'll be able to go into store and try it because I do recommend it. It's a good perfume. It's just not for me because I've already got too much that covers that world. So that's um, Amphas Reddish. I think it's a really, really interesting perfume. What it has done though, it's really made me interested in other perfumes from the collection. This comes from what I think they call the Watan collection and there's four, there's four of them in total. So there's three others that came out. Um, so I would like to explore those. Um, although I haven't got a bottle of it, Rich will put photos up because the the um, presentation for Reddish is beautiful. And I understand the bottles are very heavy. They look absolutely stunning. So if you're you know looking for a bottle that has a really, really good perfume in it, but it has a stunning bottle for your collection, that'll be a really good one for you to have a look at as well. So there you have it. Um, just a quick one. I hope you're well. I hope you're getting on okay. I think you're, you know, hopefully everyone's sort of soldiering on and getting through this more and more and more things are coming back to normal and you know hopefully the new normal will be a nice normal that we can all get used to and we can all um you know happily live in but listen as always guys thank you so much for your time really appreciate it um trying to get as many videos out as we can so hopefully we'll be setting uh, another one up for you to review very soon thanks very much for your time and we look forward to seeing you on the next video cheers thanks and bye